saw Jesus, Heaven and Hell, a trance vision by Aya Malia, May 2013 I saw the Lord descending on my room ceiling. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body I do not know, God knows. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body I do not know, but God knows, was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things, things that no one is permitted to tell. 2 Corinthians 12, 2, 4, Jesus, is, so, real he has revealed himself to me many times. May 2013, was when I got very serious about God in my faith. On May 3, 2013, something spectacular happened. At that time I just worship him with my guitar. I got filled with the Holy Spirit and then began singing an unknown song. I got astonished when I saw angels appear before my eyes. One by one they are appearing. Some were armored, had swords with them, and some angels wore pure white and just stood at the window. Suddenly, a great cloud appears on the room's ceiling, it was full of glory. I was so shocked. And then on that cloud revealed a golden stair, I looked at them and it was very solid gold. There I saw a glorious man, I saw him descending on solid golden stairs. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Matthew 17, 2 inches he held in his right hand seven stars, and a sharp double-edged sword came from his mouth. His face was like the sun shining at its brightest. Revelations 1 16 I will not forget about this moment in my entire life. He was wearing a pure white robe. On his chest, he had a golden sash, his golden hair touched his shoulders, he had gold sandals and on his face was just pure glorious light. I kept shouting, I couldn't contain his presence. He just told me, fear not, daughter, it is I. I kept crying, I couldn't contain his presence. It's like heaven, I have had pure peace, joy, and love. I couldn't think of anything else. He then touched my head. I felt his tangible touch, and then I got slain. He sat by my bed and then while I was lying, I entered a clear vision. And the Spirit lifted me up and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God to the exiles in Chaldea. So the vision that I had seen left me. Then I told the exiles all the things that the Lord had shown me. Ezekiel 11 24-25 In the vision, we were sitting on a golden solid bench. I have thought that we were in some of the places in heaven. We started conversing and told me many things. Jesus is truly alive. After the conversation, he told me that I should go and tell people that he is coming soon and that I should win souls. I love his presence so much. And if you think he doesn't speak these days, you are wrong. He does speak. He does reveal himself especially when we draw ourselves near to him and seek him with all our hearts. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Psalm 145, 18, Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 4, the 8th of October 2014 Visiting Heaven. My first visit, listen to my words. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions, I speak to them in dreams. Numbers 12, 6 on October 16, 2014, the Lord took me to heaven. At that time I was on a heavy trial so I prayed earnestly and sought the Lord and worshipped with my guitar, singing songs in an unknown language. I felt the Lord's fire on me. All of a sudden, my body began shaking as if there was an earthquake. Then I fell to the floor and lose all my strength. I was unconscious, but my spiritual senses are completely active. Meanwhile, I can feel angels all around me and they started appearing one by one. I can feel the tangible presence of God as well. Into heaven, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, 2 After a few seconds, I was already in a vision. I appeared instantly in heaven. Then I got awakened by the Lord's glorious light. His face was shining so bright, it was like a sun. He wears the same features when he visited me in my room. I then saw eight angels with us. This moment is truly rewarding. I felt unexplained joy. Then he gracefully extended his right hand and said in a still, sweet voice, My daughter, Malia, he called me by name. My daughter, I am glad that you made it here. I've been waiting for you, 
I have so many things to show you. Come, arise. I took his hand and stood on my feet. I was completely stunned by the heavenly scene. I felt pure joy, peace, love and awe. Heaven is truly where we belong. But being full of the Holy Spirit, he gazed intently into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Acts 755, But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 3.20 Remarkable moment I will give the best of my ability to share the things I saw as they were too marvelously beautiful. There were no adequate words to describe it. Some things couldn't be fully understood or grasped by the human mind so I'm not going to disclose them. I noticed I was in a spirit form and a younger looking one. I'm wearing a pure white long dress. Everyone on earth has a body like the body of the one who was made from the dust of the earth. And everyone in heaven has a body like the body of the one who came from heaven. 1 Corinthians 15 48 I'm in full law and admiration as we walk along the crystal clear river, as far as my eye could see. We stopped and the Lord told me, my daughter, drink. Then I drank with my hands. It tastes so good. I've never drunk water as sweet and as soothing as this. I had great joy and peace. Afterwards, he said, I know you love to swim. Come, submerge in the water. I smiled and I submerged myself. While on the water, I can see different kinds of sea creatures, fishes, turtles, and they were alive. I heard the fishes talk. They said, hello, Malia. It's as though they want to play with me. They were laughing, talking and praising the Lord. I noticed also that I can talk and smile. I said, oh Lord, this is so awesome. I was also waterproof. I laughed and had great joy. After that, I noticed my clothes aren't wet at all. Jesus smiled at me, I couldn't see his face, but I know his lips moved every time he smiled, then he picked a rose made of a crystal or diamond. I couldn't tell. It's shining in brilliance. Then I was shocked when it bowed unto him. I was so amazed. Then he gave it to me. I held the rose and had an unspeakable joy. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. John 14, 3 As we walk and watch in astonishment, I can see that this place is truly exhilarating. I can't find words to describe it accurately. I don't want to wake up anymore. I saw two huge rainbows in a soft blue sky. There were radiant colors and hues of all sorts. I saw green upright trees. They perfectly match the overall view. I realized earth has a similarity to heaven, but heaven is more magnificent. I noticed we were already walking on a golden solid path. There are gemstones and the like at every corner. This is truly astonishing. On earth, people are dying to get gold. But here, it's just a street. Afterwards, we walked on grass so green, and then we reached a nice sculptured golden bench. We sat there for a moment and start conversing. I told him heaven is where I want to spend eternity. We shared many other things that are to be kept private. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you. No one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John 3, 3 angels are real. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Psalm 91, 11, are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? Hebrews 1 14 After our deep conversation, Jesus introduced to me the eight angels who were with us. He introduced them by their names. I just could not remember their names when I woke up because they were so unique. Something I'd never heard of. I can't remember their faces but I could tell that they were so beautiful and glorious. Some of them had no wings, some are tall like about 10 to 12 featuring, and 20 featuring, some had huge two wings and some were holding a sword. Each time the Lord called their name they gently bowed unto the Lord and smiled at me. I was honored and awed at that very moment. Soon after, Jesus and I walked again and stopped. A horrifying sight. I saw hell. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10 28 Then the Lord showed me something in just one swipe of his hand. I saw hell. It looks like a screen with audio. I can hear them. I saw the souls under appalling conditions. 
Demons are heartlessly tormenting people with sharp spears and sharp tools. The people are burning in a pit, they were burning in such a horrible and dreadful way in another, I saw people falling from the gates of hell. They were thousands of them. I heard them scream in terror. I got terrified by this scene. The Lord spoke to me and said, Can you see this, my daughter? I am already shaking in fear. I said, Yes Lord and I don't want to see any of those anymore. I've known hell enough. I've been reading the testimonies of your servants. He replied in a sweet, lovely voice, We will be going in here my daughter, don't be frightened. I am here, I will go with you. I will never leave you. Upon hearing these words, my heart started to ache. I hardly breathed. It was so strange. I don't know what's happening. And I said, No, Lord. I can't. I knew that place already. Please. I don't want to go to that horrendous place. I pleaded with him and cried. He answered, We must go in here my daughter. Many people don't believe that this place currently exists. I need you my daughter, to testify. Haven't I called you? Don't be afraid. I will go with you here. It was hard and painful to breathe at that very moment. I told him, but Lord, not this time. I kept on crying. All of a sudden, he swiped back his hand and the vision of hell was gone. He said, okay, my daughter, I know you are not ready. But you have to be ready. We will be going there as soon as possible. But don't be afraid, I am here. I'll go with you, he answered in a lovely, still voice. Suddenly, all the pains in my heart disappeared. Then I said, but Lord, I don't want to go there. That place is too dreadful. I don't want to see any demons, either the people who were burning and being tormented. He lifted my face and said, my daughter I have not given you a spirit of fear. I am with you always. I love you so much. I chose you. I called you. Do not fear. After that, I had an unspeakable joy. I laughed in the spirit. He continued, but you must always pray, worship, read my words. You must always seek my presence. The devil will do everything to hinder you. You must be vigilant, and don't forget to write all of these to testify. Always remember, I am here. I am your faithful witness. I will never leave you. I will strengthen you. I love you so much, my daughter. After hearing these encouraging words of Jesus, I awakened my physical eyes slowly opened. I realized everything, my life, my calling, and my family, relatives, the unbelievers, the people who were still blind to the truth. I am so burdened and I want to do the call of God in my life. Jesus gave me these visions and dreams for a reason and that is to tell people that heaven and hell are real. All glory and honor belongs to him. Heaven is so real. Jesus is alive. Tilda share this testimony with others if you are being led by the Holy Spirit. Tilda up next. Five minutes in hell after three months. Jesus brought me to hell. If you are not yet saved asterisk realize that you are a sinner and that you need to repent of your sins. Jesus loves you and he died for you. Accept him as your Lord and Savior today. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5. 8 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23 So you will be saved, if you honestly say, Jesus is Lord, and if you believe with all your heart that God raised him from death. Romans 10. 9 Prayer of Acceptance Dear Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for all the things I have done in my life. I have sinned against you. I repent of my sins and I want to turn away from them. Cleanse me and wash me as white as snow. I believe that you died on the cross and rose from the dead. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and teach me to do your will. In Jesus' name, Amen. Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten, and everything is new. 2 Corinthians 5:17. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Isaiah 1:18. But to all who believed him and accepted him, 
he gave the right to become children of God. John 1 12, But rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Luke 10 20, The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my Father and his angels. Revelation 3, 5 To God be the glory, honor and praise. God bless everyone.